Hi friends, adding wishlist feature to your e-commerce website can enhance the capacity of WooCommerce and actually can increase the sales as well. And wishlist is always a great feature for online shopping because it always remembers all the things that we ever wished to buy anytime on a particular website in this video we are going to overview how we can easily add the wishlist feature at our WooCommerce website and this is an WooCommerce website and that we made during the uh, video recording and in this website I am going to add wishlist features uh, on the WooCommerce enhancement as an extension so mm, this is a uh, e-commerce site and I have already installed the plugin itself uh, and I'm going to use a great plugin that is called TI WooCommerce wishlist and I am also going to add the link where you can download this plugin for your WooCommerce website and let us see how it works and how really it is helpful in increasing the sales and enhancing the feature of your e-commerce website so let us go to the back end I have already installed the TI uh, wishlist plugin here it is and uh, once uh, you install the plugin and activate the plugin you'll get this alert that run the setup wizard let us run the setup wizard first and I'll show you uh, in the front end how it works since I have already installed and activated it so I have also created a wishlist page here so you can see the wishlist you can also create a wishlist page it is very simple and uh, I'll show you like, like uh, let us go to a product page and this is a button that comes um, after adding this plugin add to wishlist option and as soon as we click on the button it works like this so view wishlist angel book um, the product has been added to the and after a few seconds it can it can be directed to um, the uh, wishlist page as well so similarly uh, as many as items you add on your wishlist that goes to a particular page and that can be added to your cart simply so if you want to add on cart simply it can be added on the cart similarly there might be several products here and that can be added to uh, your shopping cart and that can also be kept in the wishlist as well so if it is not added in the cart so this is very useful plugin in fact and it, in this manner it is also going to enhance the uh, sales you can say cross sales or the increase of sale of your WooCommerce product so let us go to the setting how it works and this is the setup wizard of TI wishlist and I am moving forward and since I have already so uh, you can keep the wishlist name like default wishlist or we can say the WP THEMES this list and I have already created the page so you can select the my wishlist page so from page and that has been created for wishlist and you can create a new page as well so and the button options button position add to cart button after add to cart button and there are before add to cart and custom position with code so you have all the option where you want to put the button and add to wishlist co uh, text can also be changed simply here so so product uh, so in product listing can be enabled or disabled here add to wishlist text product and listing to add to wishlist so this is default setting and I'm continuing this again so processing option to so polling options allow you to set up products to be automatically removed from the wishlist when added to cart this is a great function so how products should be removed from the wishlist automatically or you can even select manually so here I have selected automatically this is a great plugin in fact so share how you can use this wishlist options to share on social media this is 
the options and you can enable or disable wherever you want to uh, enable or disable it and okay so support enable support chat get most of from our service so this is for support only and okay so it is now ready and it is very simple and you can also have the premium version i'm going to add the link where you can get the premium version as well so it is very simple but very effective plugin and that is going to increase the capacity of your wordpress website so uh, i will show you again how really it works so let us uh, add some more products in the wish list and we will again go to this so again i am adding this to the wish list and add to the wish list the wish list can be or simply we can close so i'm choosing it to add to add all to cart so it it is very simple and view cart option is here and it is already added so wish list can be moved to the cart simply and wish list can be saved on the wish list page as well so once the wish list added to the cart it goes um, the page goes empty because it has already uh, added to the cart so it is very wonderful and so i'll show you if it is not added to cart it will show on this page only so let us add some products in the wish list again so i am going to add almonds here is the almond and i am simply closing this doing nothing so i just add it to the wish list and here uh, as i shown you uh, here is the option where we can select how to share this wish list option so this is also available so it can be shared on whatsapp as well so social media facebook twitter linkedin and pinterest and all things are here so uh, it is great okay so i am adding another product in the wish list so add to wish list and now we can go to the view wish list or similar pay similarly we can so this is wish list now and in a stock the stock status is also uh, shown here and just in case if you have added the product in the wish list earlier and a stock ends up so it will show the product is not available for current buying and it can be kept as in the wish list as well so we have renamed the page wish list and default wish list to the wp themes wish list it is showing here only and it is the same page that we created for the wish list this is the wp themes wish list so it is this function works very fine uh, for wish list and you don't need even the premium version in fact but yes you can avail the premium just in case if you want to have additional features like uh, there are some uh, so you um, other settings what is available here so this is general setting that we have already done and the setup is that so default wish list name can be changed here I require login if you want to have it it should be logged in it the wish list should be shown to the logged in users so it can be enabled so link to wish list in my account you can show the uh, uh, wish list items in my my account option and remove product from wish list if added to cart and remove by anyone so these are the very important setting that is available in the general setting option similarly a styling option is already here so you can change the styling as well so use the theme style and you can disable the theme style and you can keep your own style and you can create your own style as well so better to have a theme style because it goes matches with the template css and all so it is totally up to you and custom css you can apply so just in case if you want to keep custom css it is option is here it is all in free version so it is not a premium one so i am using free version only and similarly many integration is uh, is available this is also very important because uh, the, the plugin is going to work with the most of the um, basic and the most of the popular uh, features of woocommerce and and the themes like Keras themes, Platinum theme, and DB theme, it 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 can be integrated easily, and it has been enabled. So just in case, if you are using 
any of these function like if you are using light speed the light speed you can enable this so it is it may be a premium feature so by default the most of things are already enabled here so you can save after enabling this so it is very wonderful and very extensive uh, plugin that you can use at your e-commerce website and it is definitely going to improve your sales and features of your e-commerce website so i believe this plugin is going to help you in enhancing the feature and increasing the sales as well so uh, uh, and you are going to use this plugin uh, so just in case if you have any question you can ask any question uh, in the comment section of this video and you can get in touch with me directly by following the link given in the description of this video and i believe you are already a subscriber of this channel if not please subscribe this channel because i'm going to bring wonderful themes plugin and utilities for you thanks for watching keep building